In this video, I'll cover how to set up early reminders for your tasks on your iPhone, and this will also work on your iPad, so you never miss a deadline again. The Apple Reminders app on your iPhone and iPad allows you to set a reminder on the date and time you choose, but you can also set an early reminder so that you get alerted twice for a task thus reducing the possibility of missing it. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. I often set reminders for bills that I don't pay monthly, but maybe I pay quarterly and don't want to forget them. The Reminders app alerts on the day and time that the bill needs paid. However, setting an early reminder ensures that I pay that bill on time. For example, I have a reminder set for today to pay my water and sewer bill, but paying today would probably make my bill late. I can set up a reminder several days in advance so I can finalize the payment, ensuring that it gets there on time. So just so we're clear, the early reminders is in addition to the notification you will get on the actual date and time you have set for that task. Let's create our first early reminder. This works on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Remember that your reminders sync via iCloud, so you only need to create them on one device to see them on all of your devices. So to set up an early reminder, we want to open the Reminders app. So I'm going to come to the app library and tap where it says App Library. I'm going to search for Reminders, and I'm going to tap on that to open it. Make sure that you're on the main Reminders page, and then we're going to go ahead and tap on New Reminder in the lower left corner. Once we do that, we'll give our reminder a title, and so let's pretend that this is for a doctor's appointment. We can add notes if we want to. And then we'll get to the details in just a second. So the default list in the Reminders app is called Reminders. If you've created other lists and want to choose that, all you need to do is tap there. All of your lists will be shown. And you can go ahead and choose the list that you want the reminder to go into. I'm just going to leave it as the default list. And now I'm going to go ahead and tap on details. Here I can give myself a date. So I'm going to go ahead and say December 31st. I'll give a time. And let's just say that the doctor's appointment is at 3 p.m. Right below the time, you'll see the option for early reminder. I'll tap on that. And here you'll see it can be none or five minutes up to a month. You can even create a custom. So for right now, I'm going to just choose two days, but let's go into custom and I'll choose it from there. So here in custom, you'll see minutes, hours, days, weeks, month. I'm going to just choose day and then I'm going to choose three. And so three days before the doctor's appointment, I will be notified on my iPhone with an early reminder. Once I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap on Add. And now the reminder has been added to the scheduled list. I'll tap on Scheduled, and here you'll see the reminder for the December 31st at 3 p.m. Now, we chose three days earlier uh, for a, uh, early, uh, an early reminder. What you'll need to know is your early reminder is going to show up at 3 p.m., the same time that you set the doctor's appointment before. So once that happens, you're going to receive an early reminder, and I'm going to show you how that works next. When you receive a time-sensitive reminder, it appears like a standard notification from the Reminders app. The alert will show the future scheduled time for that task, so you know it's an early reminder. So as you can see, I set up one uh, concerning my sewer bill due on 1218, and I scheduled myself to receive an early reminder today. 
So remember, you'll also be alerted on the due date, which is 1218 for this task as well. Now, if I push and hold on this task, you'll see that I have the option to mark it as complete. If I do that, I'll no longer receive an alert on the scheduled date and time. You also have the option to clear this reminder from your notification center. If I swipe to the left, you'll see that there are different options. I can clear it. I could push options, which will give me, you know, the options to turn off time sensitive or view settings. Right now, I'm just going to come back out of there again. But if I want to clear this from the notification center, because it's not due until 1218, I can swipe to the left and I can tap on clear. And now this will clear that notification, but I'll still be reminded on the date that it's due. When you finally receive the actual scheduled reminder, if you push and hold on it, you'll see that several options appear. So you can choose to complete the task or defer it for an hour or even the following morning. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and mark the task as complete. And if I come back in to the Reminders app, you'll see that it was scheduled for today and now there's nothing on my uh, Reminders app. So that uh, task has been completed. Setting early reminders on your iPhone and iPad can be a game changer for staying organized and on top of your task, whether it's remembering to pay a quarterly bill or handling other time-sensitive responsibilities. Early reminders ensure you're alerted well in advance, reducing the risk of missing important deadlines. The process is straightforward, and thanks to iCloud, any reminders you set will sync across all your devices. By using this simple feature, you can plan ahead with confidence and enjoy peace of mind knowing you'll never overlook a task again. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.